Today's grand challenges require simulation to occur at unprecedented scales. Simultaneously, domain scientists are focused on reducing time to science, rather than on increasingly complex computer science. Enabling developers to address this scale and technology with velocity requires a complete bottom-to-top ecosystem of software libraries, tools, frameworks, and applications with innovative features for data center scale accelerated computing. Enabling developers to focus on science starts with an investment in accelerated libraries. From linear algebra to signal processing, quantum simulation, communication, data analytics, AI, and much more, NVIDIA libraries provide a foundation upon which scientists can build applications that get the best performance from the accelerated data center while transcending harbor generations, all with drop-in ease of use. And the scope of NVIDIA libraries continues to grow with new libraries that enable novel compute applications and groundbreaking features like multi-node, multi-GPU support. Over the past 20 years, NVIDIA's investment in enabling scientists has transformed the field of programming languages. The launch of CUDA in 2007 ushered in a revolution in the accessibility of accelerated computing. And in 2020, we announced another breakthrough with the support of standard languages running on GPUs natively with the NVIDIA HPC SDK. C++, Fortran, and Python developers can now write parallel-first code directly in their language of choice and benefit automatically from GPU acceleration. But the true measure of these software investments is an application impact. Magnum.io's Nickel optimizes collective communication patterns for multi-node, multi-GPU. VASP is one of the most widely used HPC applications in the world. We've worked with the VASP developers to integrate Nickel into the application, resulting in never-before-seen scalability. FFTs are an essential component in many scientific domains. The QFFT library now supports multi-node, multi-GPU execution, enabling large FFTs to scale to full data center scale sizes. When integrated into Gromax, this results in a 5x performance improvement over the existing code, as well as the ability to scale out to significantly larger problems than before. The roadmap for STUDPAR, or Standard Language Parallelism, is rich. The C++ committee is now working on adopting a new model for asynchrony called Senders, which gives C++ programmers a way to express asynchrony and concurrency. This feature is expected in C++ 26, but we believe it is too important to wait, and I've created an implementation of this proposal that's available in our HPC SDK. With our Senders implementation, the Palabos application for Lattice Boltzmann simulation has been ported to Studpar. Using Senders, we were able to strong scale Palabos to 512 GPUs with near-perfect scaling. And remember, this is pure standard C++. No additional programming model for the GPU, for the node, or for multi-node communication. This is just the start of what's possible for developers adopting standard parallel languages in their applications. Quantum computing is a fundamentally new model of computing with many unique challenges and opportunities to impact a broad range of applications. The progress made by the community over the past decade has been impressive from one to two qubit devices at institutes of higher education a decade ago, to systems with tens to hundreds of qubits available for general users in public clouds today. This is remarkable progress. However, to get to the point of useful quantum computing, there remains tremendous work to do. On the hardware side, quantum processor builders need to continue improving qubit scale and fidelity. It's generally understood that quantum computers will be ready to act as accelerators for some important applications when they reach a point of fault-tolerant quantum computing, with thousands to millions of qubits, error-corrected to hundreds or thousands of logical fault-tolerant qubits. Just as important is the work to be done in software, applications, and algorithms. With improved classical quantum integration and innovation in algorithms and applications, the scale and fidelity required for useful quantum computing can be reduced, accelerating the path towards useful quantum computing. To meet that challenge and prepare for a quantum accelerated future, governments, institutes for higher education and research, as well as industry, are investing heavily across the board in hardware, software, and algorithm development. GPU supercomputing is essential for quantum computing in two areas. The first is quantum circuit simulation. With quantum circuit simulation on the NVIDIA platform, researchers can develop algorithms at the scale of valuable quantum computing long before the hardware is ready. On the NVIDIA platform, we're already simulating quantum algorithms with tens of thousands of perfect qubits, representing the future state of fault-tolerant quantum computing. The second area where GPU supercomputing is essential is hybrid quantum classical computing. As we move past basic algorithm R&D and work on building full quantum applications with tight classical quantum integration, a platform for hybrid quantum classical computing with emulated quantum resources is an essential research platform. 
Long term, all useful applications of quantum computing will be hybrid, with quantum computers acting as an accelerator for key kernels alongside GPU supercomputing. In 2021, we introduced KuQuantum, an SDK for accelerating quantum circuit simulation. KuQuantum is built to accelerate all circuit simulation frameworks and is integrated into CERC, Qiskit, PennyLane, Orchestra, and more. With KuQuantum, researchers can simulate ideal or noisy qubits with a scale and performance not possible on today's quantum hardware or with unaccelerated simulators. KuQuantum has been adopted by a broad range of groups spanning the entire quantum ecosystem, including supercomputing centers, academic groups, quantum startups, and some of the largest companies in the world. BMW is leveraging KuQuantum to optimize pathfinding and routing for robots. Large consultancies like Deloitte and SoftServe are developing applications in quantum machine learning for both materials and drug discovery to address their customers' most pressing problems. Fujifilm is leveraging KuQuantum to explore tensor network methods for material science simulation with thousands of qubits. The KuQuantum appliance is a container consisting of leading community frameworks accelerated by KuQuantum and optimized for the NVIDIA platform. Coming in Q4 of this year, the KuQuantum appliance will provide native multi-node multi-GPU quantum simulation. This means scientists can leverage an entire accelerated supercomputer as a single quantum resource through a software container with the same familiar interfaces they are using for the quantum work today. Recently, researchers leveraged the KuQuantum appliance to participate in the ABCI Grand Challenge. A variety of problems, including quantum volume, quantum phase estimation, and the quantum approximate optimization algorithm were run across 64 nodes on up to 512 GPUs. The performance achieved was up to 80 times better than alternative multi-node quantum circuit simulation solutions, enabling problems at scales that would otherwise be time prohibitive. We're really excited about the results our partners are seeing leveraging KuQuantum to accelerate their work, and I'd like to point out a few recent highlights. We recently partnered with Xanadu to integrate KuQuantum into Penny Lane, the leading framework for quantum machine learning, and with AWS to make that available to customers through their bracket service. Combining these tools, AWS saw a speed up of over 900 times on simulating quantum machine learning workloads, along with a three and a half times reduction in cost for their users. Xanadu is also leveraging KuQuantum for research into novel quantum algorithms at supercomputing scale. In general, the ability to simulate quantum circuits is limited by system memory, with the world's largest supercomputers limited to qubit scales in the mid to high 40s. Using a novel circuit cutting technique, they were able to accurately simulate the quantum approximate optimization algorithm with up to 129 qubits, running on Perlmutter through NERSC's Quantum Information Science Initiative. And Johnson & Johnson, who recently spoke about this result at our GTC conference, has seen a 100 times speed up from KuQuantum for their work applying a variational quantum eigensolver to the 7 mer protein folding problem in a collaboration with Strangeworks. A critical consideration as we look towards the quantum accelerated applications is that they will not run exclusively on a quantum resource, but will be hybrid quantum and classical in nature. In order to transition from algorithm development by quantum physicists to application development by domain scientists, we need a development platform built for hybrid quantum classical computing that delivers high performance, interoperates with today's applications and programming paradigms, and is familiar and approachable to domain scientists. To address this challenge, we recently announced NVIDIA Quantum Optimized Device Architecture, or CODA. CODA is the platform for hybrid quantum classical computing built to address the challenges facing application developers and domain scientists looking to incorporate quantum acceleration into their applications. CODA is open and QPU agnostic. We're partnering with quantum hardware companies across a broad range of qubit modalities to ensure it provides a unified platform that enables all hybrid quantum classical systems. CODA integrates with today's high-performance applications and is interoperable with leading parallel programming techniques and software. It allows a domain scientist to quickly and easily move between running all or parts of their applications on CPUs and GPUs, simulated quantum processors, and physical quantum processors. And now I am really excited to show our first proof point running CODA with both an emulated quantum resource leveraging KuQuantum and on a physical QPU, Quantinuum's H12 processor. In this experiment, we're running the variational quantum eigensolver. VQE is a hybrid algorithm for computing the ground state of a Hamiltonian, and is key to both quantum chemistry and condensed matter physics. The plot on the left is simulated with CODA compiled to a KuQuantum backend running on an A100 GPU, representing what you expect from perfect qubits. The plot on the right is the exact same CODA code, now compiled to execute the quantum kernels on the Quantinuum processor, simply by altering a compiler flag. 
This is a simple example, but demonstrates how easy it is to use both quantum and classical computing resources with Coda. And this is just the start. We will continue to work to enable all quantum processors to be accessible through Coda, ensuring that researchers can leverage the best resources for classical computing, simulated quantum computing, and physical quantum computing.